Here is a video on using the CQG Spread Builder. Today we will focus on the ability to create an option UDS as well as an exchange quoted future spread. It all starts with opening the hamburger on the upper left hand side, aka the three lines. If we drop down the trade, we're going to see the new Spread Builder widget here. So click, and here we see it added right to the current window that was just selected. The first thing I like to do is to come to the circle in the Spread Builder, click that, make it blue so it matches the same color I have over here in my trading ladder. Now within the widget you see a few options. You see your account here. You see the exchange. If you click there, CME, Eurex, Euronext, ICE, and there's also non-UDS, but let's leave it at CME. And then here, what that does is that allows this list to populate. Now you can always do a custom, so create your own order that you want, but typically most will come here and select the templates the exchange typically require. So here, let's go ahead and we will do a bull call spread in this example. Now here we see we have one for the first leg, two for the second leg. We have O for option, and then buy our quantity here, we can change. And here we can select the product we want. We can type, so say I want to do corn, I could type corn and go ahead and pick it from this list, but I'm going to just stick with crude today. Type CLE, which is the root symbol for crude, and select it there. Now immediately you have the expiration month of the future here. You can select the one that you want. Then you have the expiration dates available here. So maybe I'm going to pick the November 16th expiration here for this option. And then we have the prices here. So we can always just click the arrows or type in the price and hit enter. If we're happy with our strikes, the next step is just hitting this create button to create the option spread. If we hit create, it's linked to the ladder. So we should immediately see our ladder populate with this option spread bids and offers. And here we go, we've got this spread bid here and offered there. Now say you wanted to save this option spread and keep it on your quote board. What you can do is you can click here in that syntax that it created. Now I can just do control C to copy and I can come to my quote board, right click, and then I could say insert. And then I could just paste that string in here and just hit OK. And if you look, I now have my option spread available. I see the bid and the ask. You can also utilize an alias. So if we hit start new again, come to this alias and I say my test UDS, I can always access that as well. So hit create. And what's nice about this alias, if I right click in my quote board and I go to insert, Typically, you'll see your alias appear at the top, and you can just select it there, hit OK. Now let's focus on building a future spread. Now you can always use the CQG spread symbols, get your spread, but say you're more comfortable building it this way, and you can. So what you can do is come up here, and instead of bull call spread, let's select custom. And here we can go futures, options, what we want futures, and we're gonna say buy, one CLE, and we can pick our month. So say we want a DS23, and say I want a DS24 spread. Again, the exchange quotes this as a spread. So all we need to do is hit create, and immediately, if you select here, you're getting the symbol that you would normally use within CQG. So it's not synthetic; it's exchange quoted, but it's a nice, easy way to get the future symbol that you're looking for. Now let's go to the option spread builder one more time and we're going to focus on the customized option. So if we click here, I'm going to expand this window out a little bit. But here we can select, say we wanted to build a more specific option spread and we don't want to use any of the predefined templates. So we can come here, select option, select option. Now here we can select direction, buy or sell. Typically the CME looks at everything from the buy side. But we can go ahead and put our product that we want. Say we want to do a DS, put our call here. Say we want to sell two of the Jans. And what we now have here, you have the option to add legs. So you see a plus and a minus to add or remove legs. So here we'll hit the plus. We'll select an option here. So we've got buy, sell, buy, and say we make this a fab option. Now we could always put that alias there. Say I want to put butterfly there, but we can go ahead and hit create. Since it's linked to the ladder, we're going to see that ladder populate with that options butterfly here. And here we go. Now we have a quote on it. Overall, that's an intro into the new spread builder. Let us know if you have any questions. Take care.